Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Ding. TNT. No. Vinny Mac update. Oh, that's sad news, I bet. Yeah, dude. He officially retired from the wrestling. For good. Huh? Uh, so what that tells me is that there's some serious stuff about to come down on him. Because it. I think if he retires and bad stuff comes down on him, it's one thing. But if he's still working at the company and the bad stuff comes down on him, mm. it looks bad on the company, would affect the company, the stock price, all that sort of stuff. So I think yeah. distancing himself is what is why him being like the uh the head the very well known head and like one of the main faces of the company definitely don't want any any dirt on that name no but i mean he isn't relinquishing any shares no he's still a giant shareholder yeah but he's he retired from the business yeah so uh, he doesn't get any future oh wait no he still gets future paychecks but he doesn't get the paychecks that he was getting no he, no he does he's no longer employed by the company but he just owns shares but he's still going to get paid like How? his money isn't going to stop coming in I mean, he. I mean, in his investments, yeah, but he's not going to get paid from WWE anymore. He retired. Yeah, but he doesn't. He write the checks to WWE. Not anymore. He retired. Just being a shareholder ret- doesn't. You don't sign the checks. See, this is the thing, man. Is that when you're a millionaire or billionaire or whatever, there's always a freaking loophole. So I don't really think that his intake of money. I don't think that anything's really changed. Is the fact that he just doesn't have to show up to the office every day. Well, most of his money is in assets, like is in stock, right? But that, but the stock isn't was, isn't what gave him control in the company. His position was so now he now he's he gave retired. Up, so he gave up the position. He's he's no longer like it, before he stepped down as CEO. Yeah, but he was still like doing creative work for the shows, and they're producing the shows every week. He's officially like he is no longer going to be at anything wrestling related he retired okay so yeah he won't be showing up to the office right exactly i don't know how much of an actual change is going to be because i mean he's still going to be on like the board of directors or whatever i mean yeah i guess so we won't see him on the show anymore. no and he yeah and he won't have say in like what's happening or whatever on the show supposedly yeah. right uh, yeah, uh, yeah yeah like but, i said uh, you never really know how much your influence can, can right. get you and and honestly the only reason i really wanted to bring it up is because one update on previous story oh and yeah two yeah. like it dude that means that whatever has come out there's more coming and it's worse oh yeah most definitely man he uh, i wouldn't be surprised if just lane maxwell had a few things to say about vinnie mac Oh, that's th- that's speculation. Though. I probably shouldn't do that. I mean, allegedly. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that probably have things to say about. She has somebody to say about, right? They haven't <laughs> released all the famous people that she <laughs> that she knew her little yeah, black because book. they want to make sure they can just lock them up first. Yeah, it's that's FBI Fed stuff, man. Feds don't knock on your door unless they're ready to put you in the back of the truck. You know, right? They'll let you and keep incriminating yourself and watch you and then be like, oh, cool. We've caught you in the yeah, act now exactly. 27 times because we've right. been watching you and. Yeah. yeah, they do. They do uh, open shut cases. They yes. don't. They don't like knock. Like, hey, look, can we interview you? They're not like, no, 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 no. We already have everything we need to put you yeah. away. Okay, you're looking at seventy five years, <laughs> right? Oh, I'm looking at seventy five years. Yeah, you can take us to court and maybe get it down to ten. Right? They're like, I didn't, and they're like, and they just lay out a dossier on the table exactly. of like everything. You're like, exactly. oh. Oh, I, I don't know who I could uh, who, who you could liken them to, but they, it's a very tactical and also one of the most annoying. I mean, it things. should be how the police work. <laughs> to be honest, it really should be how the police work. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, you shouldn't go and start messing with someone until you have them. You know that you're gonna lock them up, right? Like, anyways, but uh, but yeah, man, it's uh, it's it's. I mean, it sucks because anytime people use their position to like take advantage of people it's yeah, yeah. it's it's not good i mean we don't have any proof yet so yeah, n- no mean, more they, than i can say just lane maxwell has a dossier on him can i say that you know he is guilty of all of these right alleged things that have not even been uh let, let out to the public yet so yeah, we don't really know yeah. anything I, yet. i'm interested to see though Everyone has said for a long time that he's the one that was holding the company back from like moving into the next generation of like 
Mm. What? Because he's Cause, you know he's eighty years old, yeah, right? So he had an antiquated way of thinking. Right, he was exactly. still thinking small. I could see. Right, that. and he was very like my way or the highway. So if he didn't like you, yeah, that you weren't you weren't going to become popular because he held you back, right? Mm. He had the ultimate say. He was like the crypt keeper of the the crypt. So uh, it's still kind of up in the air, but uh, who's taking over his position? Stephanie gonna... McMahon is going to be the CEO, <laughs> and, and, tri and Triple H just came back to work from his like heart attack so they're going to be running the and and, and it, what's interesting Stephanie is i think mcmahon fam they went they went to uh they went to a tv pg for a long time they just dropped that they're going back to tv 14 <gasps> as of like monday or something they're gonna say ass again yeah so like they're like oh are they just gonna roll it back like attitude era like people chopping and brawn bandy matches <laughs> like what i don't know dude yeah blood all that stuff i dude. don't think they can bring back broad panties man no, those things are no. kind of awful no there's matter no who way you were. they've tried they worked really hard to like legitimize women women's wrestling and then if they just put them back in brawn <laughs> panties matches it would like regress everything <laughs> immediately i just can't believe that was even a thing <laughs> yeah dude it was a wild time in the 90s it yeah. was a wild time 90s were wild in the so. early two, 2000s yeah man so it's it's I, I'm interested to see. How, how do you feel, Jonas? How do you feel? I want to know that. Uh, about what? About Vince McMahon leaving. How do you feel, man? Oh, He's, you've been around for so long watching his, his content. Um, I mean, I can't say I'm surprised that he's a piece of crap. Yeah. You know, like everyone sees the character and like, oh, ha ha, he's such a dick. And then like, you're like, oh, he's such a jerk. Ha ha, I love that character. And then you're like, oh, that's him in real life. Oh, well, well, <laughs> well. I I'll, I guess I guess what, what I'll say about it is you know you can't hide from who you are forever. Eventually, it catches up with you. That is the truth. Yeah, like you know, if you are a piece of crap, you may get away with being a piece of crap for a really long time, but eventually, eventually, yeah. it, it gets you. Yeah. I mean, look yeah. at like Weinstein and those guys. Like they oh, thought yeah. they were unstoppable and would never get Epstein. Ep they all just thought we're never we're unstoppable. We're too powerful. We're too whatever. They all get caught. Yeah, like, and that that's the thing that prevents me from doing crimes, like, most of the time, is that I'm not ready to live that life of a hardened criminal. Yeah, yeah, like, like you know? being able to, like, be above the law, in quotes, in your eyes, and do whatever you want, have all sorts of money, and, like, whatever, that sounds great. Yeah. But, you know, the part I don't like is jail. I like freedom. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, I like having freedom. That's really important. To it's me. like, yeah, you get to live the good life, but then you spend a lot of your good life just trying not to get caught and like, you know. Yeah, I feel like it's a very stressful life, right? Like, yes. Because yes. you know, you know that like you're doing stuff that if somebody found out about, like you get in trouble for. Yeah. So like either you're just a complete like sociopath and don't care, right? And you're like, well, I'm above the law. I'm like, you can, I mean, I'm sure some of these people you get away with for so long, you literally think I'll never get caught. Like oh, that's, yeah, yeah. Especially once you have a Porsche in the mansion in the Hollywood Hills and you're like, oh dude, I'm good. I'm set for life. Yeah. Ain't no one gonna, ain't no one gonna come take me down now. And in like, prison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. I don't know, man. It is, it's just wild to me the stuff that people get into, especially when you're that like, rich, like, you know, like, for, like Mike Vick, dude, star quarterback, rich as hell. Like, Oh, I'm going to get into some dog fighting. Like, <laughs> bro, like what the hell? And like, you know, like you hear stories about like, a, like, uh, you should hear his side of that story. Right. Too, by the way, let's have him on the podcast. Mike Vick. <laughs> yeah, dude. Or like, what was that rapper got drug trafficking? Like, you're like, bro, you're so rich. There was somebody recently. Oh, we, t we talked about, Oh, thug. Like oh, doing that gang the, stuff and drug the, trafficking, the, the Rico stuff. Yeah, man. dude, it's like you Rico. have so much money, and like you're just like, no, nah, I'm just gonna do some real illegal <laughs> shit. No, see, you know, the young thug thing is like uh, people think that he was like the leader of a crime syndicate, <laughs> when really he was just probably supplying the homies. Right. You know, I, you know, I don't know. I That's don't know what, that... what Vic was doing. I don't think Vic was at the dog fights yeah, right i think this dog fights were happening and i had his properties or whatever right and he was probably fronting the money like here yeah. take the here's the money dude my dude was in the bahamas with his feet kicked up and his right. cheeks in and the me sand meanwhile like you know rick and tom are in the basement just like dog fighting yeah i He's mean like, but, i didn't know you guys were dog fighting but if you allow it to happen in your home you know or you're giving the money to front it 
you're just as bad as anybody true. else. That's right? very true. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.